The head of a pig and a lot of blood were left at two locations in Santa Rosa. KTVU's Deborah Villalone here now with the testimony that apparently set all of this off. Deborah. Frank, it was an expert witness who said Derek Chauvin's actions were reasonable, but the vandalism misfired because that witness isn't connected to Santa Rosa anymore. It was quite disturbing. I feel really bad for the victims. Neighbors are stunned, but not like the people who live in this West Santa Rosa home. A hasty paint job hasn't erased all the blood. Kind of made me think of the Godfather, <laughs> quite frankly. You know, for someone to go to that extreme to make a point. 3 a.m. Saturday, a decapitated pig head and animal blood were thrown on the front porch. It woke the resident who called police. They found the front of the house splattered too, and home security caught murky images of a group dressed in black running away. It's potential that uh, they... Uh, freshly slaughtered a, a pig to accomplish this. Detectives have walked the neighborhood for clues. This crime clearly more alarming than most vandalism. Certainly if I were the resident and victim in this case, I would definitely uh, take that as a threatening. And it was aimed at this man, Barry Broad, a use of force expert. I felt that Derek Chauvin was justified. Last week, Broad testified for the defense in the killing of George Floyd. I felt that Officer Chauvin's interactions with Mr. Floyd were following his training, following current practices in policing, and were objectively reasonable. Broad used to live in this house, but moved out of state a few years ago. So vandals, angry at him, hit the wrong people. Whoever did the crime didn't quite do their research. And they went on to strike downtown, covering a sculpture outside a mall with animal blood and leaving a sign reading, oink, oink. There's a lot going on around this case uh, nationwide and um, a lot of e emotions behind it. So. Santa Rosa, like most communities, anticipates public reaction to the verdict. But many people hope it's peaceful and addresses the right individuals. He's just an expert witness that is paid to do this. And for people to retaliate against him, I think, is a little extreme. The person who really should be held accountable is the police officer that, that started all this. Because Barry Broad is a former Santa Rosa police officer, the current chief issued a statement saying Broad does not reflect the department's values or beliefs. Frank Broad left that department almost 20 years ago. Deborah Vialone, live force tonight, Deb, thank you. And